Okay, today we're unboxing the Solar King 320mm uh, solar roof ventilation fan. This is a new product into the market and will make your home a lot cooler in summer and your business premises a lot cooler in summer by replacing the hot air in your ceiling with the cooler uh, air from, uh, from outside. So we'll open the box. attach the installation instructions for both the metal roof and uh, the uh, tile roof. On the top is the uh, metal flashing. This is a flexible flashing to suit both tile and uh, corrugated and uh, metal roofs. And uh, it's very flexible so it can uh, go to the shape of your tiles or as I said your corrugated roof. It can bend into shape and uh, that's included in the package. Lift the unit out. Pull the tire end box. And here is our here is our fan. Only weighs seven point eight kilos, so it's very light. You can see here on the top is the solar panel. Now uh, the solar panel is 35 watts and uh, the solar panel is adjustable. You can bring it up and down in, in height and turn it upside down. You can see some of the other features of the, of the fan. Here is the brushless motor. It's a three blade balanced fan. So it's very quiet, very smooth. The brushless motor gives long, long term performance. Uh, good longevity. Uh, in behind the fan is the special design cone, air deflector cone, uh, which uh, makes the air bounce off the top of the, uh, the fan very uh, smoothly and exit through the insect grill here, which stops any insects or any, any, uh, anything coming in from outside when the unit's not, uh, not spinning. And uh, here is the temperature sensor just here. At the moment as you can see it's disconnected just for safety. Once we do engage this and if you face this to the sun the fan will start spinning straight away so be careful when you're installing to uh, connect this just before you go to place it on the roof. Attached here to the grill just with a cable tie just to cut that off is your straps, your rafter mounting straps. This is to fix it to the, uh, to the inside of your roof. So when you remove your tile or you cut your 30 centimetre opening, uh, you then fix these uh, to either the batten or the rafter in the roof, and that's just an extra safety measure to, to uh, fix it firmly to the roof. As mentioned uh, with the solar panel, the solar panel is, is adjustable, so we can adjust it up and down to get the perfect angle with the sun. Uh, for a lot of roofs, it'll just be positioned as it is, with, with, no, with no adjustment, uh, because most roofs have already got a pitch uh, of somewhere between 40 and 50 degrees, which for a lot of Australia is, is perfect. Uh, so in a lot of situations, as it's supplied out of the box, um, you don't have to undo any of the screws. You can just leave the solar panel on the angle it is. Uh, if you're in Tasmania, uh, where the, uh, the sun is a lower angle, uh, you will need to adjust it up. Uh, also, if you're fitting it to a flat tin roof or a corrugated roof that's flat, uh, you will need to angle it up uh, to get the optimum position for the sun. When we fit them, we normally fit them um, uh, to a northwesterly direction as the roof early in the morning generally is still cool, uh, still below 25 degrees. Uh, but uh, as you get later in the day, so sort of after 11 a.m. in the morning when your roof starts to heat up, uh, the fan will start operating uh, when, once you go above 25 degrees in the roof. Uh, but of course later in the afternoon you'll find your roof, that's when the, the temperature in the roof peaks. So it's best to have the, the unit facing uh, a little bit to the west. Uh, that way uh, the fan is still operating at its optimum performance uh, late in the afternoon when it's hot. The, uh, 
This has been the uh, the Solar King 320mm solar roof ventilation fan, and uh, thank you for watching.